I'm excited to smell this. Oh my gosh, look at the bottle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yay! So today I have a very, very special video for you. I'll be reviewing Beyonce's new perfume, Say Noir, and I'm so, so excited. Two things I love, fragrance and Beyonce, and you can never go wrong with both. I love Beyonce down. You know, I went to Renaissance, it changed my life, I'm not joking, um, and you know, I'm a fragrance girly through and through, so this is one of the best surprises in my life. I got this yesterday and I have not opened it just so y'all can see my true, honest first reaction. I'm not gonna be biased because I really am like interested to see how this is, even though I do really like Miss B. But I will give y'all my true, honest, and raw opinion if I don't like it. Hopefully, it doesn't smell like white diamonds. Like, I feel like you can't mess up. A fragrance really that bad unless it smells like white diamonds and if you're in 2023 still wearing white diamonds like how are the grandkids you know um but we're gonna see I'm so excited this is how it came just in this silver box ah it's so cute that's why I got my little silver get up on and it came with this like I think it's like a decant or like a travel size I have not opened it I have not opened it because I want y'all to see it have this moment with me, experience it with me, you know? Okay, how do I open this? Hold on. <laughs> silly goose, silly me, silly me. All right. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, oh. oh, I can already smell it. Oh my God, I haven't sprayed it. Here we go. So before we get into it, you know, we have to cover the basics, the price, the size, the notes and everything. Blah, blah, blah. So this does come in at 1.7 fluid ounces and it is $160. It says it's created in France and it's encased in art. So that's cool. And it's crafted and designed by the queen herself, Miss Beyonce. So Oh, and it's available in US and Canada. So all my Canadians out there, hey, you can get this. So the fragrance notes are Clementine, Golden Honey, Rose Absolute, Jasmine Sandback, Namibian Myrrh, and Golden Amber. Thinking of, okay, I think I like this. I think I like it just off of the fragrance notes alone. I'm really a Clementine girly. I love the citrus smells. And I do think that amber in the base note will really warm it up. Something I'm not really too sure about is the honey. I love a sweet fragrance, but sometimes honey can be a bit overpowering for me. But let's not judge a fragrance by its notes, but by the chemistry that the perfumist has put together. That was right all off the dome. Okay, anyway. So, can y'all tell? It's like Christmas. I feel like it's Christmas right now. I got my whole outfit on because I'm going back to Renaissance. This is like just taking me back. Okay. I need to open this. the box to see if I can smell something I can't smell it okay so this is beautiful oh my god Miss Beyonce Miss y'all I remember she said she wanted something monolithic and something intimate and she like phrase it in a way like in the bottle you can see like it's so and I was like wow it's so it's so creative it's so artistic it's so you know oh my gosh she did this what is this she has a little card in here can you see the card everything's reflective okay this is what it says in the card <clears throat> Let me put my good voice on. Say noir. 
Celebrate your renaissance with the scent of Say Noir. Layers of golden honey are lit with the energy of jasmine sandback. White patchouli pulses through the resinous base layers of amber and myrrh. It is the spirit of the night beating with sensual excitement. Encased in art, Say Noir reflects the person you want to see, the person you want to be. You're one of one. Thank you, Beyonce. That's so kind. Say Noir, let your body talk and be free with the scent of self expression. I'm excited to smell this. Oh my gosh, look at the bottle. Look, look at this bottle. Like, come on now. She's literally, and then it, on the back it says the name, and then Beyonce. Y'all see that? I'm getting better at like showing y'all the um, products, but it's still a journey. It's still a journey. I just started. Okay. Right off the bat, this is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. I don't know what to do. Should I spray it on myself first? Ah, okay. I'm gonna spray it on the little card. I'm gonna spray it on like the card that she gave us. What? I'm just so excited. I'm, I'm stumbling over my words. I'm stuttering. I'm doing so much. Girl, calm down. Okay. Ooh, good spray. Hmm. I really like this. And not even trying to be like the beehive girly right now, but I genuinely like this. It's fresh. It's definitely floral. You can definitely smell the, what? You can, <laughs> I can't talk, I'm so happy. You can definitely smell the mirror, the myrrh, the mirror. <sighs> okay, I like that. I like that a lot. I don't have anything like this in my collection. It, oh yeah. Mmm, mm-hmm. It kind of smells like, Roses Vanille by, I don't know if it's Montal or Mancera. Something, somebody has Roses Vanille and I think it's either Montal, it's one of the M's. And that is kind of what it reminds me of, but the Clementine adds a different layer to it where it makes it extremely, extremely fresh and a great transitional fragrance. I feel like you can wear this in the daytime if you're like that, or you can wear this in the nighttime as well. Oh, her mind. let me spray it on myself. Whoa, that's different. Okay. Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Miss Beyonce. Mrs. Beyonce Giselle knows Carter. Oh, she did a great job. Yeah. I think this gives very much, okay, remember when I, my last video, I was saying like some of the fragrances from some of the houses that I was talking about give like luxury hotel soap. This gives luxury hotel soap, but like wearable. Like I could wear this every day and still not be like, oh, do I smell like luxury? Like it just smells clean. It smells fresh. It smells nice. It's pleasant. It's a pleasant scent. I don't know. I really like this, guys. I'm a fan. And I mean, like, yes, I'm a fan, but like, also, this is a really great fragrance. I think this is the perfect fresh floral scent. The Clementine really does add that layer of just pleasantness. Is that is that the word that I'm looking for? Pleasantness? Pleasantness? Is that the word? I don't know. But the Clementine is just the star of the show. Oh, it really, I really pulled that Clementine. Okay, so I did some research on what people are saying it smells like, and somebody says it smells like Delina by Parfums de Marley Exclusive and Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. I can definitely smell the Delina. I think that's because of the rose. They probably like used the same rose in it or not. I don't know, but I don't get Baccarat. I don't get Baccarat at all. I think Baccarat's a little bit more heavier and it smells a little bit more metallic to me. 
but this smells extremely clean extremely fresh extremely it can be unisex i think both men and women can wear this i think it does lean a little bit more feminine but beautiful beautiful fragrance let's see what they're also saying i'm not okay i'm not picking on the first sniff I was not picking up the honey, but as the fragrance sits a little bit more, and also, you know, when you do fragrances, you have to let them sit a little bit just to smell the essence of its full, like, profile, I guess. I did not smell the honey when I first smelled it. The first thing I smelled was the jasmine, the rose, and the clementine, and that was chef's kiss mind-blowing, because, you know, that's my little profile that I like, if you, if you watch my other videos, but, the honey now that is that now that it's sat for a couple of minutes the honey the honey is pulling through and i never thought i would be a honey girly but i think the clementine the clement and i'm going to keep talking about it the clementine is the star of the show she is the star she is the moment she's here like this is her fragrance Beyonce, Beyonce, Queen B. And I love this bottle. It gives like renaissance. I think she just put so much thought. <gasps> Wait a minute. There's a mirror? Okay, remember when I was saying she wanted you to see like the soul of the fragrance? This little mirror or like this little hole, there's no backing. So you're not seeing the... You're not seeing the other side of the fragrance. You're seeing yourself in the fragrance. I don't know. That, that is, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Miss Carter. What? Okay, so what do I rate this out of 10? I give it a 10. Not because I am a part of the beehive, because I think this is genuinely a well-crafted fragrance. I think this can range among different types of people. You can be older, you can be smaller, you can be a man, you can be a woman, you can be non-binary, you can be anybody and you can wear this fragrance 110%. I think it does lean a little bit more feminine. I think it is a bit more youthful. I think this fragrance is not really like the mature, older lady fragrance, but I do see somebody in their 40s, 60s being able to pull this off just as somebody in their 20s can pull this off or being 16 and pulling this off. I feel like this is a very universal fragrance for pretty much everybody to wear. And I don't really say that about a lot of fragrances because I think there's a time and place for everything, specifically fragrances. And so I think pretty much anybody can wear this. I do seeing it leaning more feminine, but I think you can pull this off if you are a man. Just because, I don't know, like it doesn't smell too feminine and too forward and too flirtatious, but it really gives the essence of like, I'm like, I know who I am, I know my confidence, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I rate this a 10, I rate this a 10. I think it's well crafted. I love the effort that she put in in the like packaging of it. You don't really see that a lot of times, especially with perfumes in this price range. Sometimes I'll just put it in a box and like you go. It's a great price range for like 160 and it being Beyonce and it being crafted in France. I don't know, I feel like. You kind of get what you're paying for. Also the oil on my, I don't know if you can tell, but like there's still like oil on my hand. And so to me, that's just a good indicator that this is a well-crafted fragrance and it is of a higher quality. You know, like it's not just pure alcohol. Cause I still see the oil on my arm and it's still very much so glistening. So I think that is a good sign and indicator that this is a higher quality fragrance. She didn't just put like a bunch of like bull in here. It really does indicate that she really took the time and crafted this and it's just very apparent in everything she does. I think the quality of the fragrance also, plus the price point is extremely, extremely good, especially being like, Beyonce like you know Beyonce she's very much so Beyonce so she can rank her prices higher up but this being 1.7 ounces and 160 I think that's 
a pretty good price point especially when it does smell like these higher niche brands such as like people are saying baccarat i don't really get baccarat but baccarat or delina i feel like when it does fall in that like scent profile category 160 is a pretty good bang for your buck so if you are thinking about buying this i think you should go give it a shot i pre-ordered mine in july and it just came yesterday like november but that was when she just came out i don't know how long it'll take to get it now that it is finally out so um if you do get it and you are now just like ordering it let me know in the comments how you like it and how long it took because i waited a, a pretty a pretty a pretty 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 pretty, pretty good time and i will say the wait was worth it because this did exceed my expectations i wasn't expecting it to smell like this but also i don't know what i was expecting but my expectations were met D does that make sense like does that make sense like i don't know what i was looking for but what i was looking for was met Beyonce but there is a QR code on the back of this like decant I think it's a little decant look at this I don't know what it is but sometimes this stuff does not want to focus on my camera anyway there's a QR code on the back of this so I'm gonna see what this QR code means okay so the QR code just brings you back to the website and she has really great pictures, she has videos, she has a picture of her spraying it. And then she let other people smell it at the concert. Okay, so I'm a fan. She gave us a travel size and she gave us the full size and she gave us a nice, nice box with it. So I'm satisfied. I recommend this fragrance 10 out of 10 to anyone, like I said, so yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear this like every day this week. I'm not lying. I may need to buy another one because I'm going to wear this down. Okay, honey? All right, guys. Well, that's it. I reviewed the Saint Noir by Miss Beyonce Giselle Nose Carter. And I'm so glad that you stuck around for this long. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Taylor Ayana with two A's at the end. There she goes right there. You see her? She looks cute. You know you want to follow her. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you later. Bye.